Wait, what? Why did I think Martha's rest was all the way over here? What brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. The place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Okay, why will it not? What's going on here? Oh, will it not let me change it while I'm out here? What's going on here? Why can I not change my abilities? Do I have it equipped now? Yeah. When a guard is timed perfectly, square can be used to launch up to three counters. Okay. <clears throat> So, when a 
bar this time perfectly. Oh, okay, you gotta do it right when they attack. Got it. Okay, well let's let's test it out. Well, if Torgo would stop whooping them. Nice. Okay, sweet. Oh god. Togo, you gotta stop whooping them so hard, my boy. Alright, we got the trophy exclusive for this thing. But, man, let me tell you. That block counter? Awesome. Oh, wait, was I able to charge that up? Well, I got a lot to learn with the kite. Come 
Am I even going the right? Yeah, I am. I was like, man, I'm fighting through all these enemies. Am I even going the right way? You saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. Easy dubs. Plus, this is a new area for me to explore too. This should take Ooh. off. They're high level monsters too. Stay down. <laughs>
That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Or it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Nah, we gotta look through here first, my boy. Make sure there's nothing hidden we can't find. Excuse me, any items? Now what's up through here? hunt up through here later on or something. Sorry I ain't been back to see you in so long, but I I got some news for you. <laughs> I'm to be wed. I heard Mid's building a workshop down the store. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? All right, Clive. You've all done then. 
I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. See how Jill's faring. Ah, uh, uh, we got side quests to do, my boy. We got side quests to do. Wait a second. Oh, well, we're gonna go down here and do this one first. Then. Plus, or was it two eighty-five or two ninety-five for that one? How may I help you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Two ninety-five. Okay. Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Jill. Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. <laughs> You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time, and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but there as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. Oh no. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. 
What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you go. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herblor like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find, if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. enough to find. Enough for those herbs. Oh, what the heck kind of monsters are these? plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. <coughs> Should be enough to keep the infirmary stocked for a while. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. from home, aren't you? Oh, there's... Mm. Was it what I needed? Are you much obliged? One. Are you well? Oh, I sorry. ain't got much, but what's mine is yours. For a price. Are you well? Okay. Then we go up here. Said, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northridge. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. 
Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. <coughs> they put themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. They're trying to get into the carriage. Oh, too slow. Trophy. Oh well. Next time. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Right. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But 
but she insists I rest. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. Oh, yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like a tire. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. Ooh, 200 experience points. Let's go. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Sid, welcome back. A stolas from the dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. 
I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. Ooh, 350 experience points. Let's go. Reduce rising flames. Cool down the top in two seconds. <laughs> the little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her. Once again, you can one, two, three, six. You can pause that if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it through. We're not allowed, anyways. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf? Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to Kingdom Come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <coughs> <coughs> I shall be a moment. I know he didn't mean it the way it sounded, but like... God, that's funny.
Pretty brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'm trying to figure out what you're going to make. We need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! <laughs> Thanks from before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Though I did wonder if I'd bit off more than I could chew when Mid showed me her plans for the place. If she hadn't been there to tell me what to do, I wouldn't have known where to start. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Goots, meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth, but as innocent as a babe in arms. Uh. Goes the hunt for Kupka. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Here. Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um... I have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure being on site. <laughs> <laughs> uncle. Oh, it's Uncle. and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. That Bahamut? Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us.
Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both... You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. Sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. the astrologer's auger. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Uncle Byron doing here. Only one way to find out. 
Well, I think that's a good stopping point, if I do say so myself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop right here. And call it. <laughs>